Let's look at a story example when you present information in the right way. I was at a National Speakers Association chapter, brought a young woman up, as we will in a couple of moments, tell a story. And she said, my dad walked into a diner, looked at the waitress and thought, that's my wife, in 1946. I said, let's redo that. Your opening line is in 1946. When was it? Now, you do not have to be, have been born in 1946 to know it was the end of World War II. You've seen enough movies. You know what America looked like. And at least in my story, when she said my dad walked into a diner, I see him in a uniform. If you heard the set of a story in 1946, my dad walked into a diner, just raise your hand if you think he might have been in the army. All right. Now again, we already like this character because he served the country. And we know at the end of World War II, he probably has had some tough experiences. Walked into the diner. Now, I don't know about you, Ricky, but I think he went and sat on the counter. He was alone. He sat on the high stool by the counter. Again, I've seen enough movies and been in enough theme restaurants. I know what it looked like. He saw the waitress. And I bet she had white, comfortable, thick sole shoes. I bet she had a penny and probably some little cap on her head. And I bet she said to him, would you like some pie and coffee? Honey. Honey. OK, good. <laughs> now, can you see, all we have actually said is, in 1946, my dad walked into a diner. looked at the waitress and thought, that's my wife. Just by organizing the beginning of when was it, and you start painting the picture, you present it in a way that the audience is filling in the blanks.